peace, blessings, and love, family. This is Elder Rasan Shakur out of the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana, coming to you with another great informative video. Peace, blessings, and love to all the melanated family of mankind. But family, this is a highly, highly requested video. I finally got time to do it. As y'all know, ESPN has banned LeVar Ball from off of ESPN for inappropriate behavior, <laughs> which I ain't seen no inappropriate behavior. Old Becky went to Howland. You know how they do playing victims? They were sitting up there having a conversation, and Becky had nerve enough. At least her name was Molly. <laughs> had nerve enough to tell the ball, 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 while he was doing the conversation with our Stephen A. Smith and Max Cullerman, whoever else they had there. She told him about switching gears, and he said, "We can switch gears anytime you want." And what switching gears mean? In other words, they say it was sexist. It was inappropriate. Number one, they shouldn't have no women on no man spoke show. No way. Go where women at. Let talk about spokes. Then you got a Becky that always playing victim. Always playing victim. In that same situation, if it would have been bread there, she wouldn't have opened my mouth and nobody else would. That's the Me Too movement. That's why these brothers about to watch out. It's the Me Too movement. Then she married to a black dude, Uncle Tom ass nigga Jalen Rose. That's why right. he had nerve enough to tell the ball ball, apologize. Apologize for what? It wasn't nothing to apologize for. You know how them people do? They make up shit. Can't deal with their accountability. Always playing the victim. Always playing the victim. They ain't never wrong. That's right. But that's what they get for fucking with them Becky. Even LaVar Ball, he got a Becky for a wife. But you know what? <laughs> but that's going to show you how they can take things out of proportion. And that's what they did. They took all that shit out of proportion. Because they've been trying to get him off of uh, TV, the ball ball. You know, he won them American brothers. He won them brothers that tell it like it is. And they don't like them kind of brothers. They like them Uncle Tom ass niggas like Stephen A. Smith. All them soft niggas that go along with the program. And there wasn't nothing to, there wasn't nothing at all to even get excited about. Oh, oh, she, she said, let's switch gears. And uh, LeVar Ball said, we can switch gears at any time. And them crackers took that shit out of proportion and ran with it. That's why you brothers better be careful. Because <laughs> the Me Too movement is in full bloom. And they're out to get you. They got Bill Crosby, they got a bunch of more of them. Even trying to criticize our brother that has passed, like Michael Jackson and Prince. That's right. They're always trying to dig up some dirt, but they never had to dig up no dirt on their own kind. It's just us. <laughs> That's right, family. But finally, we're going to cut this video short. Let me know how y'all feel about Molly Becky acting like somebody did her wrong, like somebody was hitting on her. And she probably slinging pussy everywhere any goddamn way. Huh. I can guarantee you that. Peace, blessings, and love. Put up the comments, shares, and likes, and stay tuned for the next video, and I'm out.